A very good morning. Devastating, potentially catastrophic damage expected for Puerto Rico. Yes, for many of us, it's that time of the year, hurricane season. In this video, we'll look at the ways you can prepare your computing devices for an upcoming hurricane or other severe weather. Before we get started, if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. We publish computing-related videos all the time, and we don't want you to miss any of them. Thanks. Let's get started. If you live in an area that can be affected by tropical cyclones, that's the scientific term for hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones, you hopefully have a list of preparations before a storm hits. You might include getting extra fuel, water, batteries, flashlights, medicine, and more. If you're really on the ball, you'll have these items before a storm threatens and the store shelves empty out. In today's world, we depend so heavily on computing technology, you need to be prepared ahead of a storm so that you can keep your devices running for communication and information. In this video, we'll help you get prepared so your devices serve you well during a storm. First, I'll show you three accessories you need to have, especially when a storm is coming your way. At the top of the list is a chargeable USB power bank. This can be a real lifesaver. How does it work? Simple. You charge it ahead of time, before the lights go out, and then you can plug in your smartphones, tablets, etc., and let it charge them. The power bank we have listed in the description below will almost charge the iPhone 11 Pro Max four times, the Galaxy S10 for five times, or a tablet more than two times, for an average of nine days of unrestrained usage per charge. If you lose power for a long period of time, this device can keep you up and running. Next on the list is a surge protector cube. This cube is great for several reasons. One, it's small enough to put in a purse or carry bag. Two, there are no dangling wires. Three, it has USB ports and AC ports. The final accessory I recommend is a privacy kit that includes an adapter to protect your data if you have to use a public charging station. I'm including the links for these accessories in the description below. Besides these items, make sure you have your charging cords for your laptops, your phones, your tablets, your watches, your Fitbits. Now, let's talk about what you should do with your computing equipment when a hurricane or other severe weather system is headed your way. Here are my suggestions based on a scenario that might work for you. Here's the first scenario. Severe weather is coming your way and you are staying put. If you have a desktop or an all-in-one, these types of computers should always be plugged into an uninterruptible power supply, also known as a UPS. If you lose power for an extended period of time, the battery in the UPS should give you enough time to save any open documents. Once you've done that, turn your device off, turn off the UPS, and then unplug the UPS from the wall. If you think there will be flooding in your home, make sure these computers and devices are up from the floor. If you're staying put and you have laptops, tablets, smartphones, smartwatches, Fitbits, and other similar devices, they should be charged using a surge protector like the one we talked about already. You should never just plug these into a wall outlet directly. Since you're staying put, you should have these devices fully charged before bad weather reaches you. As I already mentioned, you should consider purchasing a USB power bank and have it fully charged before bad weather. If the electric is out for extended periods of time, this device might save you. All right, now let's look at severe weather like a hurricane is coming your way and you're leaving. Desktops and all-in-ones. If you're leaving, it's a good idea to take the desktop tower and or the all-in-one with you. 
These units should be packed securely in your vehicle. Surrounding them with towels and blankets is always a good idea. Remember, these units were not designed to be carried around, so make their ride as bump-free as you can. Laptops, tablets, smartphones, smartwatches, Fitbits, and other similar devices. Obviously, these devices are small enough to take with you. Don't forget the power cords for each item or you could be in major trouble. As I mentioned previously, you should have a surge protector with you so that these items are protected when plugged in for charging. Just like I already mentioned, it's a good idea to have a USB power bank. Finally, let me say, back up, back up, back up. Even when severe weather isn't headed your way, you should be using online backup software. Hurricanes, floods, snowstorms, and other rough weather are reminders of what we should be doing all the time, backing up. That's it for this video. I hope you've discovered ways to have your computing devices ready when a hurricane or other severe weather is headed your way, and what to do with those devices if you're staying or leaving. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing, and have a great day.